So today we're going to give you an update on our domestic beetle colony. We uh, have had this uh, for probably a month and a half and uh, we've now got the population of the beetles um, and the larvae to a point where they can clean skulls really quick. It's a pretty cool process. Uh, so we're going to show you uh, how that works. We're going to do some time lapse of, uh, of the cleaning of two different skulls. It's pretty cool. So I know I've showed you this before in my last video on our domestic beetles, uh, but this is our domestic beetle uh, enclosure. We have a controller that controls the heat and humidity. We have a fan for venting, and uh, we've been feeding these guys for some time now, and the more you feed them, the more larvae and uh, beetles you have. The more you have, the faster they eat. The faster they eat, the more they need. So. Uh, we've built their population up pretty good. Uh, let's take a look and see what's going on inside. So we keep the foam in there. Uh, the beetles like to burrow into it and they'll actually lay eggs in there. They also like cardboard. You can see there's lots of bugs in here. So we got our skull. We're going to put the skull right down in that box. See what happens. So there's our muskrat skull. Let me get it focused. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So we'll take this skull and we'll put it in a peroxide solution and it'll whiten it beautifully. I'll show you one that's done. This one's all been whitened. Pretty cool. He's got a little bit of a damage to his skull right there, but pretty neat. Pretty clean. Pretty cool looking skull. So with the beetles, with the beetles, uh, it leaves all the details in them. It's pretty awesome. Let me see if I can't uh, get a detail in the nose. You can see all the detail in the nose. Leaves all that structure in there. Leaves all the structure in there. It's pretty cool. So one of the benefits of using beetles is you can take very, very small skulls. This is a duck skull. You can see the little details, the bones that are left. Here's an even smaller one. This, look at that little beauty. This is a starling skull. So today we're going to put a turkey skull, turkey head, in with our domestic beetles. Put our GoPro on time lapse and see what happens. Let's do it.
finished. Now all we have to do is degrease it and whiten it. It'll look super. That's a wild turkey skull. It's nice. So until our next update on our uh, domestic beetles. See you later. Dermestid beetles. Piranhas of the bug world. <laughs> it's awesome. See ya.